Hi, this is Rosie with EdTech Teacher with another iOS 11 tip. We're going to look in at this video at the Safari Reader and the ability to now create a PDF from a web page and the benefit that has with reading on the iPad. So if I launch Safari and up in the Omni bar in the left hand corner you can see the reader lines right here. If I tap that, you can see how it strips away all the extraneous advertisement in that page, giving you a clutter-free reading environment. That's nothing new with Safari, but what has changed is the ability to now decide if you want to use this only on this particular website, which happens to be edtechteacher.org, or use on all websites. So if I select all websites, Every time I go to a website where the reader is available, it will automatically create this clutter-free environment. Again, like in the past versions, I can select the text and change the text size. I can select fonts and change to a different font style. And I can even change the background color. Um, of that text, which has some real benefits for students with visual sensitivities. So now that you've seen that, we have the ability to create a PDF or a portable document format. This is typically something that you would find on a Mac or a Windows machine, but now you can actually do this without a third-party app right within um, your iPad. So consider the, the possibilities. Here you are with the power of student leveraging both speech to text, text to speech, all on this piece of paper because now it's really a digital piece of paper and it's totally accessible to that student. So to do that, I come up here to the share row and on the bottom here, I have the opportunity to select create a PDF. So I'm going to select it. So now I actually have a portable um, document here where I can um, ha let, allow students to actively read. Here the students can highlight, they can take notes, they can have the text read aloud to them, making this a really multimedia tool for students that need that support. So if I go up here to the IA with a circle around it, I now am in an editor. And in this editor, I can select a highlighting tool and pick the color which I want to highlight. So I can highlight some text here, or I could highlight just words that are important. I can also, I have an eraser tool, so I can erase. I can also add text and create a handwritten note here. I also have the ability to um, add text boxes. So you can see this here. I can enlarge it and I can add any kind of text I want. And with that, I also have the ability to change that text. I can right justify it, I can left justify it. I can also change the text within that text box and I can move it anywhere I need it to go. I also have the ability to use a magnifier. So here I can increase the size of that magnifier and clearly make the text much, much larger for students that may need that degree of magnification to read the text. I can also, if I was looking at something with a great deal of detail, I could use this magnifier to look at the details of that maybe an image or um, a document. I also, so to, to get rid of that, I can tap it and just say delete. I also have the ability to add a signature, so I can create a new signature, so I can get rid of that one, and create a new signature. and add that any place on the document. So if you had a PDF and you want needed to sign it, you could add um, a signature. 
I also have the ability to add um, boxes and circles, different kinds of shapes to highlight specific pieces of a document. I also can select an arrow if I wanted to point out something specific here. And I, needless to say, I can change the colors of any of these, these tools if I highlight them, and then I can change the color. I also have the ability to um, add speech bubbles. So if I had a picture and I wanted to add speech bubbles to that and then add some text into that speech bubble, I would need to add a text box and add that. I can move that and add it into a speech bubble and add the text right there. So from here, I can say done and it will give me the availability to save file to. So if I select that, it gives me the option of the new files option in iOS 11. So here's my Google Drive and I can save it anywhere within Google Drive and add it by just selecting, picking a specific uh, file and saying add and my document will be added there. I can also use the share row up here and I could send it to Drive this way as well, or I could email it um, and I have a multitude of choices. And again, here is save it, that file, to my files on the device as well. So that's um, creating a PDF from a web page and some of the new aspects of the Safari Reader. I hope this was uh, an iOS tip that you may use with your students. If you have any questions, please contact me at rosie at edtechteacher. Mm -hmm.